Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here, and thanks for checking out this video. And this is a special one today. This is 10 pets that you should consider taming in World of Warcraft. Uh, all 10 of these pets are rare. Uh, they are unique skins, uh, but not too terribly hard to get, as well as available to all three specs of Hunter, whether that be Marksman, Beast Mastery, or Survival. So you won't see any Spirit Beast in this video. If you guys have any questions on how I get these, uh, all the information will be in the description of the video for each and every pet. And since Shadowlands will be increasing our stable size significantly, you will have room for all these new pets. So if you are excited about new pets like Qual here, uh, be sure and watch the entire video. And if you guys want to see another video like this, I have a lot more pets that I could add to a video. Just consider subscribing to me, give me a like on this video, and leave me comments below. So, let's get started. So the first pet on our list is going to be the one I field the most questions for, which is going to be Jim Hyde My Turtle, which you see a lot in a lot of my videos. So you find him here in Suramar, at the river just north of Meridil. So he is actually an uncommon spawn of the lowland hard shell which has to be arcane infused so we're actually pretty lucky right now i just came here randomly to record this video there's two gem hides here that's so awesome so that's actually it's tortoise as well which is the uh the boss in throne of thunder but this is the one that you can actually tame and if he's not here uh just go up and down this area if he's not here come back in you know 20 minutes Chances are very good there will be one here. For one, there's not a lot of people leveling in Suramar anymore. And two, like I said, it's an uncommon spawn. So let's go ahead and tame another one just for the video. So at number two, we have the Sunrunner pet, which are these beasts here. However, uh, we are looking for a corrupted one, which is going to be an uncommon spawn, much like uh, that of Jim Hyde with the Lowland Hard Shells. So you can find them over here. That, that's usually where I tend to look for them. Uh, but I actually found another spot up here on this little bluff area where a few more of them spawn. Let's go ahead and head up this way. So those two different spots that you can look there, both in Azuna, of course. We are looking for... This guy right here, the Veil Shadow Runner. So let's go ahead and tame this beauty. So it does have to have the aura of lethargy, for sure. And now we have a beautiful new corrupted stag. Uh, this is the orange aura variant. Uh, there is another one called Somber Dawn that you can find uh, as a rare on the Broken Shore. It's on this little island out here. Uh, and it will put the little skull on the map, much like it does with all their rares when it is up, if that's something that you want to collect. So we can add this one to the collection. And the next pet on our list is going to be an owl. And it is going to be found here uh, in the Stone Talon Mountains. Uh, in these ruins that are just south of Sunrock Retreat. So the cool thing about these is they are, of course, an emerald uh, crystal looking owl, but they are semi-transparent. So they are basically like a spirit beast uh, without, you know, having to be a beast mastery hunter to have one. And so as you can see, they keep that, uh, that, that slight transparency, which is really cool. And uh, I hope you guys will add this to your collection. So next up on our list is Gib the Banana Hoarder, and he has the distinction of being a monkey with a fez. Uh, so this is the only one available in the game, and it is found right here in the Swamp of Sorrows. So we'll go ahead and tame him, make him our own. So you'll notice that I'm in war mode here. Uh, he wasn't up uh, in non-war mode, so you do want to make sure and go back and do another pass uh, with war mode on because it is a different shard completely and this adds another really awesome pet uh, to our stable. So the next pet on our list is going to be Humar the Pride Lord and he is found in the Northern Barrens and is a black cat. So you're probably wondering, well what the heck, why am I here in Shulazar Basin? Well, he actually shares the same model as Pitch. 
Uh, Pitch is one of the quest objectives. You have to kill him and get his remains uh, for the Frenzy Heart. However, he does share the exact same model and he's up all the time. Uh, so you don't have to wait for that extremely large uh, respawn timer for Humar. So let's go ahead and add this one to the collection. Come on, buddy. There we go, and after we got rid of our Prowl, we now have our newest pet, uh, which I decided to call Obsidian. So let's go on to the next one. So up next on our list is going to be Chia. Uh, Chia is found here in the Burning Steps, and it is found up here just north of Black Rock Stronghold. Uh, so this one is a unique skin, much like all the others we've seen so far. And uh, this is a Wind Serpent, and you know, it's, it's just an absolutely huge thing. I was never expecting it to be this big when I found it initially. But let's go ahead and tame this here. It's a little bit smaller when you do tame it, but it does retain its name. It's one of the, the rares that does that. But we're going to give it a different name. Zapdos. There we go. So we can add another one uh, to the collection. And at number seven, we have Thunderstomp. So Thunderstomp is found in the Southern Barrens, and he is a unique uh, Thunder Lizard. So he is the only brown one in the game, and it's found here on either side of the road. Uh, so I want to make sure and get this uh, tamed before somebody else comes along and snipes it. Unfortunately, I had that happen while I was doing this video. So it's an absolutely beautiful creature. Uh, a lot of people don't like these, but I really like them since they updated their model in Legion. So the next pet that we're going to find here is found once again in Stone Talon Mountains, which is Qual. Uh, Qual is a very, very unique pet, so let me go ahead and tame him before anybody else comes and gets him. He is actually the only Sapphire Owl in the game. So this is like a two to five hour respawn timer. Uh, be sure and check both shards, whether that be non-war mode or war mode. And he always hangs out right behind here. Uh, it's where one of the quest uh, areas is here in Stone Talon. And it is well worth it because it is an absolutely beautiful model. Really, really cool if you're someone who is running with a frost themed uh, transmog as well as it's one of the pets that keeps its name, which is really cool. So the next pet is actually one of my favorites that brings me back to my time leveling in 2007, which is uh, Ikeyaki, which I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Forgive me if I do, uh, but it is a, a pet here in the Northern Barrens that's only available to Horde. Uh, but if you are somebody who's playing Alliance and you want uh, to actually tame this, it's super easy because you just need somebody on the quest to summon him. So you come here with an allied race. In fact, I would do this for you uh, if you want this done and you're an Alliance player. I will gladly make an allied character on your server and uh, personally go and summon it for you. So you do these two quests, the Zebra, turn that in, and the Huntress Claws, and it gives you the quest to unlock him. So basically all you have to do is travel just north of the crossroads and you use his horn. Uh, what the horn does is you stand next to a bunch of bones that we're going to see here in just a second and it summons him. From there uh, anybody can tame it. So if, if you're an alliance player and you want to tame this, uh, that is the easiest way to do it. Find a horde friend. Alright, so we've made it uh, to his den so to speak. Uh, it is just found here on the map, like I said, just north of the crossroads. You just need to find these bones. It's moved several times since I originally did this quest. But you just blow the horn here, and he will come. There he is. Perfect. So let's go ahead and tame this guy. So tame beast. Uh, this There's only two uh, of this one in the game. There's this one here, and then there's another rare up in Winter Spring. But this is the easiest to get. And like I said, if you're an Alliance player and you want help with this, uh, Mr. Eggplant, Scott, your back. I will personally come and help you do this. So the last pet on our list today is going to be the Fell Green Hippogriff, otherwise known as the Corrupted Hippogriff. So it's going to look exactly like this, uh, which is the trading card game mount. But you do have to do a little bit of work to get this. So first off, you have to learn how to actually train hippogriffs. To do that, you purchase from Pan the Kind Hand. You purchase this book, Tome of the Hybrid Beast. 
which allows you uh, to tame hippogriffs, griffins, owlcats, wolfhawks, and waverns. Uh, the problem is, you do have to do a little bit of legwork. So this does require you to complete your hunter campaign and also breaching the tomb where you can buy uh, the mounts. But I've already purchased it here, so now let's go get the pet. So now that we have the tome, we are going to be coming here to the Nighthold in Suramar. Uh, you do have to have flying to get up here, but with Shadowlands getting rid of that requirement for a Pathfinder for flying here, it shouldn't be that big of an issue very soon. Uh, so the pet that we're looking for is right here, which is actually Elisan's pet. Uh, fun fact, this used to be in the raid itself, but 8.3, they actually added this out here for us to make it easier to tame. So let's go ahead and tame it. And if for some reason you kill this by mistake, he does respawn in five minutes. So don't feel like you missed out. There we go, we have our new pet, and we have a mount to go with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't. This was so much fun to put together because even though I'm a marksman hunter, I love collecting pets. And these were some pets that I actually didn't have, so I went and got for this video. Uh, so if you guys like this, please leave me a comment below. And if you want to see me make more, let me know. I would love to hear that. Thanks for watching.